This is courtesy of Grazia. It's regarding um, Kylie Jenner. Now, personally for me, personally for me, I don't understand this. I said it before on Twitter earlier, but I don't get this, right? Because this headline is courtesy of Grazia. The headline is as follows. Kylie Jenner is being dragged for saying she never had plastic surgery, but that's not the full story. So this is courtesy of Grazia, and it says, on the latest episode of Keeping Up With Kardashians, or The Kardashians, sorry, now it's called, Kylie opened up about um, only having had filler on her face, no other plastic surgery, with the rest of her appearance being changes all down to makeup tricks. It comes after many fans have commented on how different her face looked over the years. She says, one of the biggest misconceptions about me is that I was like this insecure child and I got so much surgery to change my whole face, which is false, Kylie said. I've gotten fillers and I feel like I don't want that to be part of my story. I'll always have... So I always want everyone to just love themselves. So, interesting narrative. Me, myself, right? I cannot understand why this stuff happens so often. And this is mainly because I've only got like a brief education on like the whole plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery shit because I've been more plugged into Twitter. On Twitter specifically, I feel like there's a big community of like girls and women on there who share a lot of like, you know, pictures of like of people that got you know that work done uh post up and whatnot um there's accounts that feature people that have got stuff done and shit it feels like it's a bit more of an open discussion-y sort of like vibe over on twitter in terms of like cosmetic surgery so i've gotten a lot more educated on the whole scene and seen what it's about and i follow some accounts so i get to see what's going on i love to read the replies and see what people are saying and mostly from the thing i've been seeing a lot of women or people that are plugged into the scene calling out certain people <coughs> but one thing i've noticed for the most part, is that I think the majority of the audience that knows about plastic surgery can tell who has what just by looking at them. It's just something that you know. I guess it's something like, I guess it's like a a guy being into football can just tell how a team is playing, right? What kind of style of play they have because you just watch the game so much, right? So I think a lot of these women just know. So my question is, why do some women persist on lying about the work that they get done when most hetero cis guys like myself who didn't know before don't give a shit or don't can't tell and the people that they're trying to fucking fool at like the women all know or the women and the gays let's say right? as a le lack of a better term lack of a better kind of way to kind of characterize them like the women and the gays all know what you got the cisgendered men who maybe want to fuck you or be in a relationship with you they don't even know or care so why lie it's so bizarre. I don't understand the reason to lie. And I think the only other option of not lying is just to keep it yourself. You don't need to tell anybody anything, right? They can think whatever they want to think about your appearance and how you look and what work you got done, but you don't need to tell them. You know, that's the one thing I don't understand. Why are you telling people what work that you've got done? And then if you're going to tell them, then why lie? Because most people that know, know. You know, that's the thing I don't understand with this issue. Because I think with the Kylie Jenner stuff, I understand with her because the whole meme with Kylie was that they would have that fucking comparison, which I think is a bit unfair. It was like a comparison picture of her when she's like Harold. Oh, what's that? Look, that thing? Sorry. Yo, big up thingamajig. Oh, who's that? By the way, sorry, my brief. Oh, big up Austin Casey. Yes. Oh, my God. Sorry, my friend Austin Casey. One minute. I completely forgot about you, brother. Um, let me give you again. Where are you? I think you're on my list somewhere here. Big up. Oh, yeah. Big up Austin Casey. I'm going to replay it, Mitchell, actually. Thank you so much. Here you go. Hopefully it works. Yo, big up um, Austin Casey. I do appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for the donation. You do have to send me so much, my friend. But I really do appreciate you sending it regardless. But, you know, please, if you can, you know, support your fucking family and friends first, then that would be greatly appreciated. But, you know, I do appreciate you for that. What I do for my birthday? Nothing much, brother. Like, honestly, I've never been the big birthday guy. Never, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Um, I usually just don't do anything. And it's a bit sad. Don't get me wrong. It's a bit sad. Why? Because I think in general, my overall kind of lack of friends kind of prevents me from doing a party, like a birthday thing, a celebration. I don't really like hanging around with people. I tend to kind of keep myself to myself. And I generally have this opinion that birthdays are a bit, a little bit embarrassing after like the age of 25 or something, you know? Like, 
going out and celebrating it and having a fucking sticker and a balloon and shit, especially with your age. Like, I don't know. I have, I have this thing, like, I don't care about social media that much, but I think if I did care about social media that much in terms of, like, who I follow, who I unfollow, like, I don't give a fuck about this. I don't check it. I don't care, right? But if I did, I'd be the kind of person who would say, if I see you post on my feed, if, I, if you come up on my feed with birthday balloons like numbers i'm gonna unfollow you that's what i should be like but i'm not gonna be that guy because i don't really give a fuck and i think people that check that sort of stuff are fucking lame but i feel like if i was that person i would say as a rule if i see you come up on my feed with your numbers in balloons celebrating your birthday i'm gonna fucking unfollow you if I go on your stories and I see you fucking resharing every single fucking story that people keep sharing of you, of saying happy birthday to you, especially if every account is fucking verified to show off who you know, I'm going to fucking unfollow you. Now, I don't care about social media that way. I don't check it. I don't see who's unfollowed me. I don't see who follows me. I don't see who block. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck because I don't spend too much time on it like that. You right? But if I did, if I did, I'd fucking unfollow you every time. I see you repost every shout out you get on fucking on on Twitter, on fucking Instagram, and I'd fucking unfollow you if you fucking shared birthday balloons. I swear to God. I think over the age of 25, the most any man should do again. I'm not speaking about the ladies out there because that's different, right? And I can't speak for the ladies because I'm not one. As much as I would like to be one, I'm not one, <laughs> right? But for the fellas out there, I think a respectable way to celebrate your birthday is to get yourself a nice strong drink, whether you like to drink alcohol or not, a nice meal somewhere, and kind of thank God for another year. That's it. That's it. And it doesn't need to be posted anywhere. It doesn't need to be a fucking big affair on social. Like, no. It just needs to be you, maybe a select group of friends, or with your family, or on your own. Go, go and treat yourself. Put on a nice outfit. Get a nice drink. Have a nice meal. Right? Take a long walk back to the car, or get a cab somewhere, and go home. But all this fucking party, party, ay, 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 my birthday, ay, be nice to me, ye, 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 ye. Bruh, you're 29, you're 37, grow up, you know what I mean? You don't, like, what more do you want? You want to go to fucking Burger King and get a little crown? Do you want to go to fucking McDonald's and have a little party there? Like, grow up after 25, grow up. It's not a birthday party. Celebrate for having another year on this fucking spinning ball that we're on. Get yourself a nice drink. Have a nice meal. A nice steak somewhere. Whatever it may be. But no more than that. Please, for the love of God. Please, no more. You're a fucking grown-up. Over the age of 25, you should not be celebrating your birthday. Not in the birthday party. Big sticker. Big badge. Numbers and balloons. Walking down the street. Because I see some I see some people, right? When they go on a birthday. When it's their birthday. They're like, um, what's that NBA, NBA Youngboy song that everyone quotes? Oh, yeah. There's a parade in my city, yeah. Well, that's, some people have a birthday, it's like that. It's a parade in their city. They're literally walking down the street at the front of their friendship group. And you can tell it's their birthday because they've got the fucking badge on. They've got the numbers. But they're at the front. It's like a fucking carnival. Everybody's fucking behind them, dancing. Your birthday, your birthday, like giving them all this positive affirmation, licking their ass and shit. It's like, bruh, you're 37, you're 45, you have children. Imagine if you've got kids, right? Just imagine how embarrassing this is. Imagine you have actual kids and you're celebrating your own birthday. You're probably spending more money on your birthday than your kids. Imagine how embarrassed you must feel on that one. Imagine that, for instance. You've got children. And you're celebrating your birthday more than you're celebrating your ones with your kids. That's when you have to take a look at look in the mirror. Okay? Anyway, that's my TED talk. Um, going back to fucking Kylie Jenner. I understand her persistence to correct the record because I feel like I feel like the comparison pictures people put out there of her are a bit unfair. The ones that they take of her where she's got really thin lips and she looks really young. I think she's basically a teenager. And then, of course, you know, women, you know, everyone matures and develops differently. So I'm sure over time, especially with the tricks and makeup, you see what people do at fucking, on fucking RuPaul's Drag Race. You can legitimately change the whole structure of your face, you know, if you're really good with makeup and shit. And with little fucking tricks here and there and tapes and whatnot. So I'm sure that played a part in it. But don't insult our intelligence by saying that you've never got work done. Or never have plastic surgery, or be, or do the whole semantics thing, because she's kind of doing some semantics here, right? In terms of 
plastic surgery isn't the same as fillers, that kind of vibe. But I just don't get it personally. I think it's really ridiculous. I don't understand why women out there feel the need to consistently lie about their work. It makes no sense when other women and the gays in that community who keep abreast of all this sort of shit, they can tell it straight away. They all know. And I read the comments. I go through the comments and see what people are saying. And for the most part, I think 99% of women out there can tell when other women have work. It's just something they all just pick up. But if you have an interest in like beauty and makeup and shit, they can just tell. So who are you lying to? Because guys like myself don't give a fuck. So the ones that you're trying to trick all know. So who are you lying to? I don't get it. So if you, so in my opinion, don't lie. Just keep it yourself and keep it moving. Like Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell, the model, has got like two kids. She's never explained where those kids came from, right? Like what the deal is. We don't know because none of our business. That's how you're meant to move. You just move the way you move. You live your life the way you live your life. People have questions that they come to you in person and ask the question. And we all know how Naomi Campbell moves. If you ask too many questions, if you be a bit mouthy, you're going to get a fucking phone to your face. You know what I mean? So that's how you should be moving. Just keep it yourself. No one gives a shit. But again, Kylie Jenner supremacy. Here we go. 